All right, Shalom. We're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. We're going to give double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. That's pertaining to 1 Timothy, the fifth chapter. And honor to all you fellow laborers that are enduring afflictions to bring out this word in sincerity and in truth. All right, pressing towards the mark, pressing towards the kingdom, okay? Hey, because what, what's 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 uh, happening in the lead up to the kingdom is judgment and we see judgment all around we just saw some heavy judgment right now man we saw a little little kid on the ground crying saw a couple out dudes cursing her out because the, the car is done because these, these people they don't have no margin for error man people is already on the edge all right okay you know you get in a car accident you get a ticket man that, that could be it man and that's judgment from the heavenly father all right so we're gonna get we're gonna get into the lesson St. John chapter 9, verse 39. Yep. And Yahweh Shai said, For judgment I am coming to this world. Yeah, for judgment I am coming to this world. So that's why the Lord came, man, for judgment. Okay, he came to justify the elect because uh, uh, we, we're getting judged too. Our judgment is going to be what? Lord's will of the elect. We get exonerated. We get exonerated and we receive a kingdom. Yet for the majority of the people on the earth, you're here to catch your judgment in, in, in the form of you being destroyed. And, and, then, and then you catch it nothing but hell up until that point, man. But as it is written in 1 Corinthians, the 16th chapter, if any man love not the Lord, let him be anathema maranatha, which means curse unto the Lord come. Okay. okay, go ahead, bro. It says, and Yahweh Shai said, for judgment I am coming to this world, that they would see, that they would see not, might see. They would see not, might see, which that's us. Okay, because okay? we didn't see, we were lost, and now, and now we can see. And like, yeah, that old church song, which I actually kind of like, I once was lost, but now I'm found, you know? That's 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 us, man. We were we were lost, but then we got found by who? By the shepherd, okay. And and then that and then that's just what it is. And the majority of the people, their judgment is to what? Is to stay lost, pertaining to Isaiah the sixth chapter. So then what? They can be destroyed because if they were because if they were healed, if they were healed, the Lord would have to deliver them, okay? They believe the Lord would heal them and then they'd be saved. But the Lord don't want to save everybody. He got it out. He got it out for the majority of the people on the earth. Yeah, if I can say something, yeah. because uh, that will go against his prophecies. Right. So he, the Lord, he had a, he had a blind he had a blind of the eyes and the ears of our people in order to fulfill prophecy. So that 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 means you help whatever Yahweh Bashan Shai says is true. Right. So he's not a liar. That's right. Let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. The Most High is not a man that he should lie. Are you, you gonna go ahead and finish that off for where? Kind of says that they would see, not my see, and that they would see might be made blind. Oh, and they would see might be made blind. Yeah, the people who think that they got it in this society, they're the most they're the most bug, bugged out blind people, man. Okay, because the Lord the Lord is dealing with uh the contrite and the humble. Okay? He's 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 gonna he's gonna he's gonna bring judgment of a uh, of destruction upon those of a of a pow, of a proud spirit, a bolster spirit, those that uphold Egypt. Because those are the ones that supposedly see people like Pete Diddy, Oprah. Those are those are the ones who are supposed to got it, uh, who are supposed to have it. Th that's, those are supposed to be the leaders and the example for the nation of Israel. Those that didn't uh, uh, bow down and bent over, man. You got some more? Or that was it. Okay, Juan, you got some? I got uh, Isaiah six and nine. You and he said, uh, "Can you start up?" Oh, actually, no, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Uh, Isaiah six and nine, and he said, "Go and tell this people." Hear ye indeed, but understand not. Yep. And see indeed, but perceive not. Yeah, and we see that all the time on the highways and edges. People come up, and and, and if you if you got like a, a goofy side of spirit, that means that you're you're fulfilling this prophecy, hey, Because what's written in these in this book, lamentation, mourning, and woe. Now, now we you know we we we, we joke and you know because we're comfortable with each other. We know each other. We're brothers. Yet this is a serious this is serious stuff, man. When you when you come before the Lord, you, you have to uh, you have to be serious, man. You have to be solid. So there's a lot of people that come up, they don't really internalize. Why? Because they they don't internalize what we're saying because they fulfill, they're they're fulfilling this prophecy. They see it, but they don't really understand what's happening. Like you had some bozo who came up, and you know, spirit was on me and a brother could not to to want to like rip his head off, man. We just didn't like his presence. Okay, but but he's one of those guys, man. Cause if you if you if you're seeing this man, you're gonna be in a certain spirit, okay? You're gonna be in a spirit to do this work. All right, you're gonna be you're gonna be do everything to please the heavenly Father so that you can be shielded from this destruction coming. But go ahead, bro. Uh, verse ten: Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, 
and shut their eyes, at least they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Yeah, yeah. So the Lord don't want to heal everybody because the Lord is the physician. Yeah. But He didn't come. For, he didn't come for everybody. He came for the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. And that's and that's per, this that's made perfectly clear throughout the scriptures. Go ahead, bro. Uh, then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. Right now, again, second there's is uh, the ninth chapter, Bubba Kusha. Yeah, so that's when our people are going to wake up, all right, when they come back in the kingdom after they've been destroyed, whether it be by famine, by the race wars, or the nuclear, uh, or the nuclear destruction. Because pertaining to Jeremiah, the 15th chapter, the Lord has all types of diverse ways to destroy our people, man. Why? Because they, they refuse to hearken unto his word, which is being uh, brought forth by the, the apostles and the elders and the brothers in Great Millstone. And we believe that in faith. We believe that we are the ancient prophets coming back, the ancient teachers, the ancient healers. That's what we believe in the works and the works that we do. Just like our Lord said, if you don't believe on me, at least believe the works. Look what brothers are doing. By process of, of elimination, we would have to be the men of the Lord, and we're not saying that to boast or brag. Yet you have to know who the men of the Lord are, uh, the men of the Lord are, to be able to follow them, so that you'll be healed. But with the with the Lord is so cold, He sent an angel to blind you, like we just read in Isaiah the sixth chapter. And so that's how Second Ezra the ninth chapter is fulfilled. That you buck up, and you receive benefits in this life, and now you're destroyed. Okay. So can you get that, brother? Uh, Second Ezra is nine. We we'll start at nine. Second Ezra is nine and nine. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Yeah, and this is particularly talking about you you guys who had a taste of the kingdom, the taste of the heavenly gift, and you forsook it. No. Guys like Beatty is through, Tracy T, Tracy T the Cuck, okay? And, and there's, a, and there's, a, there's, a, there's a, a, a big list of guys who forsook the truth. Okay, you think you, you think you left and now you're free? What's that dude, uh, um, Itazawam? Oh, yeah. You know, the nigga was laying on the bed doing his nails, complaining. See, he's gonna be in a pitiful case because these guys, they fall out and then they act like, all right, they got a new lease on life, so to speak. But that 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 uh, that honeymoon with Satan, it don't last too long, man. Satan's abusive, okay? <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, verse 10, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Right, received benefits and have not known me because when you receive benefits, that ties you to what? To the world. And the world is in uh, direct opposition to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And we see what's out here in the world. When we go out to camp every Saturday, we have to work around these people. These people are, are exceeding sinners, man. Just like it says about the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. They're hardcore demons. And you and you expressing your, uh, your love for the Heavenly Father is uh, offense to these people, man. And and and, uh, and a lot of our people they follow the the ways of Babylon into their own destruction. Okay, they got it. They got a nice job. They got a they got a they got a little so-called white woman or a little heathen woman. Okay, okay, they got a nice apartment. They're in a high rise. They ain't thinking about the heavenly Father. They thinking about coming up and prospering in this land. Okay, and then and then the, and then the so-called white man sets up so-called success stories like P Diddy, Jay Z. Oh, look, man, he, he went from selling crack in the projects. To, to hanging out with Warren Buffett, you could do it too, all right? Which, which Jay-Z didn't been ran through, man. He's not even a man no more, man. A real dirtbag, man. All, did all type of sins, man. Committed all type of wickedness. Yeah, he, he was actually, there was an interview, he was actually sitting in the form of Baphomet. And he knew what he was doing. He throws up, he throws up, throws up the uh, symbol for the Illuminati and he says, oh, it's the rock. Okay. He literally follows the doctrine of the uh, do will. He wears those yep. shirts. Yep. Yeah, he wears the shirt. Yeah, he, he follows Alistair Crowley, man. Okay, but go ahead, brother. Uh, and they that have loathed my law. Right, well, loathe means hate. So you have our people that, that actually hate the law. They'll act up, man, they'll actually look at you confounded when you say, man, you kill me over some pussy. Uh, uh, Jacob actually say that. You gonna kill me over some pussy? That's how, that's how far removed our people are from the Heavenly Father. Yeah, they got a problem not eating pork, man. Not eating uh, shellfish. Dude actually said that. Yeah. He said he can't be an Israelite because he can't give up pork. So he'll, he'll, actually, he'll actually forsake the promise of, uh, of having a, a, a limited woman, having uh, pure air, having a pure mind, having pure righteousness because he, he don't want to stop eating pork. That's crazy, man. Some meat. Yeah, for some defiled flesh, man. A unclean, a unclean, a unclean uh, animal. Go ahead, brother. 
uh, they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty and when that yet place of repentance was opened unto them. Yeah, because you have liberty to return back to the Heavenly Father. This is the grace period. Okay, go ahead, bro. Understood not, but despised it. Yeah, and our people despise it. And, they, and, and instead of just saying, you know what, I don't I don't really agree with this, our people proactively uh, want to stop the word, man. Mm -hmm. You have our people that have uh, attempted to actually kill us, man. Actually went out there with a gun and a bulletproof vest and wanted to put two in us, man. Wanted to air the block out. Why? Because we believe that so-called black, Spanish, Native Americans are Israelites, that this is Babylon. We're just speaking. We're just speaking words, man. And Rob Rack, man, if you watch the videos, which I believe you do still, the Lord is going to utterly destroy you, man. That's right. Okay? You're going to die. Go ahead, bro. Uh, the same must know it after death by pain. Yeah, so the same must know it after death by pain. And that links up directly to what we read in Isaiah, the sixth chapter, man. When the cities are wasted without inhabitant, man. Okay? That's when our people are going to get right when they come back in the kingdom and they right mind. Because right now... The majority of our people, they've done so much wickedness, they, they don't even have the heart to attempt to turn back to the Heavenly Father. They know they ain't right, man. Can uh, you read the next verse? Well, in the meantime, brothers, you got, you got a precept? Kanaki has something or a warrior has something? Okay, Kanaki, come with it. Yeah, this is uh, Zephaniah 3 and 5. Beautiful. The just Lord, Yehovah Hashem Shai, is in the midst of yeah, the just Lord, okay? Because you have the so-called white man like to call the Heavenly Father a malevolent God, a cruel and vindictive power. And that's why they got transhumanism. Oh, yeah, see, you don't have to worry about the Most High killing you anymore. You can live forever. Yep. These people got the same spirit as them bug outs from the Tower of Babel, man. The same exact spirit. They actually want to fight against the judgment of the Heavenly Father. They want to fight against the judgment of the Heavenly Father. That's what they do. Yeah. He saw us, uh, he's working to them, man. Yeah. yeah. That the Most High came to be uh, subject to the Heavenly Father. You know, He wants to put that off so the Most High's rules doesn't apply to him. That's, yeah, that's exactly what it he is. He wants to be wicked. You know, He wants to live forever because He wants to sin. Mm -hmm. Hey, because sin leads to what? Death. Yep. Okay, because you, certain you do you commit sins, the Lord will plague you in your flesh, just like adultery. Okay, you commit adultery, what's gonna happen? You gonna get gonorrhea like David did. Okay, you're gonna get uh, uh, autoimmune deficiency. Uh, like HIV, which leads to uh, AIDS. You're gonna get herpes. Okay, you're being a sodomite, the same thing. Okay, you're being a murderer. You're gonna get you're gonna get plagued with visions. Okay, you're gonna have guilt, un 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 unquenchable guilt. See, you're gonna be you're gonna be plagued in the mind and the body. But see, Esau says, no, no. You know what? Don't don't worry about that. You can have a clear conscience. Yeah. I'll just program it so that you didn't even do it anymore. You didn't even do it. Yeah, you know you're, you're innocent. Yeah, he'll, he'll he'll put it on a computer and then transfer it. Yeah, like and transfer it to your mind, man. That's what this devil. This this is what this devil wants to do. You go ahead, brother. Can I? Yeah, so like, yeah, I want to say what you just said was exactly in that in that series on HBO Westwood. Mm. They have they had the robots that had consciousness because they did things so called in their past lives, right? Mm -hmm. And he saw like, look, I'll just erase it. You're having you're, you're having a malfunction, mm -hmm. so to speak. You know, so that's exactly what he wants to do. Which that's what the Lord is gonna do for us, man. That's so, because we're gonna get a new body. So all all, all this this terror that we've in, uh, uh, had inflicted upon us here in America, it's gonna be like it never happened, man. It says he will not do iniquity. Yeah, and the Lord do not do iniquity. Okay, the Lord, hey, the Lord have a little baby fly out of a a, a car, all right, and get splattered. Guess what, man? That's that's righteous. That's righteous judgment. Okay, and that's and that's why and that's why the Lord, you know. Um, the Lord gives us blessings and he shows us that he's doing with us because if not, we would, we would get a simple heart of unbelief and be like these people, man. I say, oh, the Lord's fucked up. Hey, just like it says in Malachi, the first chapter, uh, you have said, uh, I have loved you, yet you say, where and have you loved us? You know, that's what our people say. And the Lord don't love us. Why? Because they catch so much hell, they can't conceive that the Lord is actually dealing with them, man. Yeah, and because ultimately he's removed the spirit, but yet he's removed the spirit because our people are being hard-headed, man, and stiff-necked. Okay, he would have stuck. He would have stuck with these simple ass niggas, but they 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 refuse his uh his counsel. Yeah. So then he he turns his back. You turn you turn your back on the heavenly father. He's gonna turn his back on you. Okay, and you're not gonna prosper. The scripture say in Job, who have hardened his heart against him and prospered. Not no one, man. They can't nobody resist his will. But go ahead, brethren. It says every morning, the 
does he bring his judgment to light? Yeah, every morning do we bring his judgment to light. And that's beautiful. You wake up, there's an earthquake, there's a mass shooting. Okay, something else gets uh, uh, unveiled about the so-called white man, how much a devil he is. That's judgment, man. Train crash crashes. A train crash. Oh, yep, yep. That's exactly that's exactly what what, what, uh, what brothers woke up to. You know, it got up, sent it out. Man, beautiful, you know. Hey, uh, just somebody crying over a two-third nigga on Facebook, you know? Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, because you know? yeah, niggas get put to death in droves on Friday and Saturday night. Usually over a damn woman, okay? Okay, you got at the bitch, all right? She started giving you some play. The nigga got jealous, okay? Then he did some passive-aggressive shit, like stepped on your shoe, spilled a drink on you. Then it escalates. I mean, we see it, man. Then it escalates. Then the nigga gets stole on. Then he don't. He don't want to. Then he don't want to. Then he don't want to just take the ass whooping. He gonna pop the trunk and air the block out, man. Yeah. All right, that's what happens, man. That's why we don't be around you niggas, man. Okay, because you're, 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 it's nothing but a combustible situation, all right? Nothing, nothing bad can happen. Nigga moments. Exactly. Nigga moments. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's black culture. Yep. Mm -hmm. The most high is going to destroy black culture. Anybody who, who's down with it. Yeah, anybody who upholds that. Yeah, irrational behavior. Yeah, ir uh, irrational, effeminate behavior. Being passive aggressive. Being a bitch ass nigga, man. The Lord ain't with that. The Lord is with you being a man, okay? Yeah, it says he fell if not. Yeah, he fell if not because there's continual judgment. That's the cycle of life. Okay, because there's certain spirits that the Lord wants to have on the earth. So, okay, at the same time, all right, somebody's getting judged for their wickedness, they're getting put to death. Guess what? There's a baby being born. Okay? So it's balanced. So it's a perfect balance. That's why there's no iniquity in them. Okay? Because they have the same power that, that, that takes away life, he gives life. Hey, what did Job say? Shall we receive uh, good for the Lord and not evil? See, it's perfect balance. Yeah, it says... But the unjust know of no shame. Yeah, but the unjust know of no shame. Yeah, they don't, because they don't understand judgment. Oh, give me Proverbs 28. Yeah, yeah that's the spirit. Okay, go ahead. Bring it out. Bring it out. Evil men understand not judgment. Yeah, that's right. The unjust know of no shame. Yeah, because evil men understand not judgment. See, us, when things happen, we understand it's judgment from the Heavenly Father. It's either it's either because we were doing something we weren't supposed to be doing, as it is written, when we are judged, we're chastened of the Lord, so, do not, so we're not condemned with this world. Or you just want to put some fire on you, okay, to get you to consider things, okay, to get you to be more on point, okay, or or he'll he'll he'll, he'll have judgment happen so then he can condemn that person for coming against you, hey, because the Lord will have people come up against us so he can destroy him, okay, <laughs> and that's what these people don't get, okay, like Rob Rack, so his whole life was set up just so he could come against us so then the Lord will be justified putting his ass to death, okay, and he ain't he ain't gonna repent, he's just gonna get worse, okay. But he's an evil man, so he doesn't understand that judgment. Go ahead, bro. Yep, it says, evil men understand that judgment, but they that seek the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shad, understand all things. Yeah, we understand all things. 100% truth, okay? You can't get around that. They that seek the Heavenly Father understand all things. We understand why we went into captivity. We understand why our people are so bugged out. We understand why we understand why our people are so bugged out and we're not bugged out. And we're able to like we have like apartments and we have cars and we can function in society in this society and we understand why our people can't. Because the Lord ain't with them niggas. And the Lord is with us. And it's simple. And we don't give two shits if you niggas like it or not. And you niggas, you niggas know the Lord is with us. That's why you're so carnal towards us. Because if you if you really believed that the Lord wasn't with us, you would just let the Lord deal with us, man. Hey, like that devil Esau is the devil, okay? Which I believe that guy's an Edomite. This dude called me acting like he was a he was a potential client, asking questions, you know. Why? Because you because that because that guy's evil, man. He doesn't understand judgment. He doesn't under, he doesn't understand that he doesn't understand that the Lord set us up, okay? And, and, and he doesn't understand that. He doesn't fully understand that the Lord set us up and the Lord didn't set him up to do righteousness, okay? So now so he's bugging out. He's trying to force the spirit, you know? Okay, and, and just like Wacko and the rest of these clowns, okay? Because they don't understand judgment. They don't, none of them guys just step back and say, damn, what if the Lord is dealing with these guys? They don't consider, like it says in the, in, uh, what is the book of Isaiah. Isaiah, the first chapter, yeah. Yeah, they don't consider yeah. that they're doing evil. Oh, uh, give me that in uh, Ecclesiastes. Uh-huh, uh-huh, get that. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and get that. That's beautiful. Yeah, they consider they consider not that they do evil. Why? Because you don't understand the judgment of the Heavenly Father. That's why it's going to catch you off guard. I got uh, Ecclesiastes 501. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the Most High, and be more ready to hear than to get the sacrifice of food. Yeah, you're supposed to be more ready to hear. Hey, because you got a lot of guys that come up and they, they want to interject their opinion, man. There's a reason why, there's a reason why we're, we're on one side 
of the sign and you're on the other because the Lord has commissioned us to be ambassadors for for, for his uh for his name and his word not you okay go ahead bro yeah that's Jake's main problem Jake don't want to listen man yeah, shut the fuck up man Jake always talking you know Jake Jake really resists the spirit of y'all by Shimei Al-Shai man mm -hmm. they don't want any instruction from him man anything that, that that's coming out of the scriptures Jake is just completely gonna reject man mm -hmm. you know <clears throat> which is why the Lord rejects you Okay, that's why that's why your mom's a drug addict. Okay, yep. Yeah, that's why you grew up in a foster foster care. Yeah, that's why you bugged out. That's why you on the oils. That's why you you sipping lean. Okay, doing zannies. All right. They reject the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, what, what it? Why people are destroyed for, for lack, lack of knowledge. Of knowledge. That's a foundation of scripture, and that but yeah, that's like very heavy, man. Our people lack knowledge. Hey, cause what's the saying in the world? In the world, if you knew better, you do better. Mm -hmm. Our people don't. Our people don't know better, man. Okay, and then and then when it's presented to them, they don't they don't understand it. They despise it. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, bro. Despise wisdom and instruction. Fools hate yeah. knowledge. Only a fool only a fool would hate knowledge, because knowledge knowledge when it's applied is beneficial to your life. Okay, you 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 receive knowledge about the herbs. You receive knowledge about how to deal with women. Okay, how to make money. That's just gonna make your your life easier. So why why would you despise well, despise that? Because you're a damn fool. Okay. Like all these people scoff against you're, you're you're a bunch of idiots, man. Go, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up. Uh, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. Uh huh. For they consider not that they do evil. Yeah, that's our people. They don't consider that they're doing evil. They don't understand the gravity of of, of, of their uh, of their actions. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. All right, let's wrap up. I just got one more. Come on. This um uh, this it's the book of Psalm chapter thirty seven verse thirty. It says, "The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom." And his tongue talketh of judgment. Mm. Oh, mm. read that again. Beautiful. Mm. Psalm 37 30 says, The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom. Right, and that's what we do. We speak wisdom. You can you can go on on a, a sincere brother in Great Millstone. You can go to any brother's page and, and you'll have a well-rounded life. Okay, one brother we could talk about legal, legal things. Another brother could talk about and it's all filtered through the scriptures. Can talk about uh how to make money, okay, uh um, how to heal yourself. Dealing with women, dealing with your parents. Okay, you'll be a well-rounded person. Why? Because that's wisdom. Go ahead. Yep, it says, the mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. And his tongue talketh of judgment. Right, that's what we talk about, man. Why? Because the Lord came into this world for judgment. So we have to talk about judgment as ambassadors of Hamashiach. Okay, so with that, we're going to wrap up. We may come back, and uh, we may come back in a, in a little bit. But um, hopefully it was edifying. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and um, and deaf to Moab, okay? Yep. Deaf to Moab, Moabites. yeah, deaf to you Moabites, and uh, deaf to the nigger woman. Yep. Right. Deaf to the nigger woman. All right, and, and, and Shalom and uh, sincere salutations to all you you brothers, okay? Keep keep pushing, man. We almost out of here, man. And we're the, and we're and we're the true saints, and, and and the angels here in human flesh that are about to get back to that angelic state, yeah, okay? We're the prophets. And we're right. the prophets, man. All right, and, and and don't let nobody try to convince you otherwise. All right, much love to the brothers, okay? Ahabatham and Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.